What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. I'm over in the Mercedes showroom in Chai Wan, Hong Kong, and I'm getting a first look at the new Mercedes CLA. All right, let's go. What do we got here? Oh, that's the speaker system. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that the trunk space is decent. It goes pretty far back. I could say you could get two big size luggages in here comfortably. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but pretty decent. Love these afterburners here. You have the time, you have the temperature, you have uh, the fact that the parking brake is on, I think, airbags engaged, um, average miles kilometers, and in the center there is a uh, speedometer. Change the ambient lighting here. Ooh. Nice. So seat kinetics feels like um, sort of in the thigh area and the back area. Um, you can adjust, you know, where the pressure is. It's almost like having a, like an instant backrest and it's, I guess, adjusted for the type of duration that you're going to be driving, which is pretty interesting. That's a new one. Oh, interesting. It's like a trackpad. I get it. I'll do it for you here. See, I'm pressing the home button and then I'm flipping through the screen. It's like a trackpad. Interesting. I like the navigation. It seems fairly simple and, um, you know, you can either do the touch screen thing or you can use the trackpad, which is pretty cool. Of these signature move your seat type controls. Hi Mercedes. What can I do for you? Can you play radio station CR2? Yeah, it looks like I got about a half tank of gas in here. All right, let's go in here. Here we go. Oh, look at this red interior. I am trying out the back seat. Got this huge light on me, and I'm going to the side here. Uh, not made for five people, um, but sits four really comfortably. Leg room is okay. It's definitely got a sporty feel, though. Um, you are definitely sliding in as you get into the car. The interior looks really nice though. Uh, definitely feels very luxurious. Okay, so I just had a look at the new Mercedes CLA. Uh, I think the best way to describe it, it feels like a racing car with four doors. Uh, the interior is designed um, with those kind of signature bucket seats that you would find in a, in a, in a race car, um, but it still feels luxurious and um, four people will fit comfortably. I would not say that the fifth person is going to have a comfortable time. What's interesting is though that it's got those, um, uh, both sides of the back seat can fit um, baby seats. So there is the family of mine, just not a big family. Um, the trunk is very spacious for what um, I was uh, expecting. For sure, it's very, very deep and fairly tall. 
um, to fit maybe some large size, large size luggage, or um, I don't know, maybe a stroller. Um, you know, the shape of the car, I like. It's very sleek and uh, looks aerodynamic. But let's talk about the tech. I think the tech is really interesting. Um, they got the voice assistant, which I think is new. Uh, the touchscreen is very nice, and there's a trackpad at the um, where you would normally find uh, a stick. So who's this car for? I think this car is for somebody who wants that race car vibe, um, but you can also have the versatility to um, bring some extra passengers. If you have a kid, um, you can you can bring that um, newborn around and comfortably put in that uh, baby seat. Obviously, if you have a big family of three kids, then this car would definitely not support your lifestyle. Uh, the trunk is really spacious, so I like that. All right, so I hope you liked the video. hope you'll uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe because I'm going to be doing the test drive. And if you're interested in the test drive, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and what I should be looking for in testing. Um, and I'll just try to give you the best experience possible. All right, thanks.